Hello all, welcome back to the course Basic Signal Processing. I am Dr. Ravichandra Kulkarni. In the last video, we saw that how uh, subspaces and uh, fundamental four fundamental subspaces of a matrix vector space are uh, available for uh, various analysis and uh, uh, matrix manipulations and understanding. Uh, so let us continue with uh, the concepts in uh, the first module of uh, basic signal processing uh, that is uh, rho echelon form of a matrix. So as the conditions on the slides uh, are put up, uh, a matrix is said to be in uh, echelon form if the pivots or leading elements are the first non-zero elements in the row and usually they are one. And below each pivot, that is the leading entry, there needs to be a column of zeros which can be obtained by elimination. And also the last uh, condition is says that each pivot lies to the right of the pivot in the row above. Zero rows are to be placed below non-zero rows. That is zero rows come at the end of the matrix or at the bottom most part of the matrix. Right. So, illi yen hela khorti dhar ento andre. Vandu pivot andre leading entry first entry yen irutte. Other kelagade a column mali, yella zeros iddaga, adu condition to na satisfy madate. Right? So, and leading entries and the pivot entries are non zero agirbeko and generally one agirate. Right? And each pivot and the one row in a leading entry, first entry and then karitiv leading entry, adu. Male gade row in a leading entry in a balabhaga the lirate antandre. For example, if I take a matrix, say 3 cross 4 matrix 1, 3, 5, 6, 0, 1, 2, 3, 0, 0, 0, 1. Let us see if all the conditions are met here. Right? No, no, no. E one matrix alli, yella conditions meet agi di anta. Check mada dhra. Namu gotta gati do. Ekli on formal idio. Il wanta. Right? So, illi, in the first row, right, the leading entry is non-zero entry. Okay? Idu modulane row agi radhra inda. Idu first entry eni da. Adu non-zero agi da. Right? Usually one nanta eni hila dhra. Yes, it is one. So, it doesn't matter. Uh, so, it is first condition is satisfied right we can safely put a tick across it now the second row below each sorry second condition that is below each pivot needs to be a column of zeros which can be obtained by eliminations also but here we observe that already illi zeros there there are zeros below the leading entry hence condition 2 is satisfied for the first row let me go with second row now. In second row, I see that the leading entry is the second entry in the row and below it also there are zeros. So condition 2 is satisfied for row 2 also. In row 3, definitely the leading entry is the only entry here and below that there is no row. So uh, we can call that the second condition is satisfied for the entire matrix. Now for the third condition, each pivot lies to the right of the pivot in the row above. And the male gade row alli yalli the pivot to alli na balabhagakke namma yaradane row in a pivot irabeku. So yaradane row alli pivot is 1. So it is on the right side of the First pivot, first row pivot, hence condition 3 is satisfied for row 2. And in row 3, let us examine the pivot is again on the right. Hence, matrix A is in the echelon form. Right. Now, 
Let us go ahead and see what is the next concept. For rho reduced echelon form, the rho echelon form conditions are to be met and additionally the matrix elements should be such that the leading entry in each row is non-zero entry is the only non-zero entry in its column. That is above the pivot the elements should be zero. So now going back to the matrix which I considered in the previous slide, let me rewrite it 1, 3, 5, 6. 1, 3, 5, 6, 0, 1, 2, 3, and 0, 0, 0, 1. Right? The matrix element should be such that the leading entry in each row is the only non zero entry in its column. So, for the first column, right, the leading entry is the only non zero entry, hence the condition is satisfied. Now, for row 2, the leading entry is 1, but above that, there is 3, which is a non zero entry. So, E3 eliminate Agabe. So, Avaga, now row, column 2 is also in row echelon form or row reduced echelon form. The condition will be satisfied for row 2 as well. Now, to make this particular element 0, what we can do is we can go with R1 dash is equal to R1 minus 3R2. Then A will be 1. 1 minus 3 into 0 is 1. Now 3 minus 3 is 0. 5 minus 6, so that is minus 1, and 6 minus 9, that is minus 3. Now, you see that for row 2, since row 2 is unchanged, we keep it as it is. For row 2, it is pretty much the same. Now, uh, in order to make these elements 0, let me see if these elements can be change to 0. If that is not the case, then we cannot reduce this matrix to row reduced echelon form. Now, if I go with two operations, R2 dash is equal to R2 minus 3 times R1, then we will be left with say 1, 0, minus 1, minus 3, 0, 0 minus 3 times 0, 0, 1 minus 3 times 0, 1, uh, 2 minus 3 times 0 is 2, and 3 minus 3 times 1 is 0. So, 0, 1, and now uh, if I do another row operation, that is R1 dash into R1 plus 3R. R3. So here it should have been 3R3. Okay. So 3R3 that is 1 plus 3 times 0 is uh, 1, 0 plus 3 times 0 is 0, minus 1 plus 3 times 0 is minus 1, and minus 3 plus 3 is 0, and 0, 1, 2, 0 and 0, 0, 0, 1. So now you see that the matrix element should be such that the leading entry in each row, the leading entry in each row that is our 1, 1 and 1 in each row is the only non-zero element in the columns. Yes, yes and yes. So now 1, 3, 5, 6, 0, 1, 2, 3, 0, 0, 0, 1, a 3 cross 4 matrix is reduced to row reduced echelon form matrix. That is row reduced echelon form matrix. A 3 cross 4 matrix. 1, 3, 5, 6, 0, 1, 2, 3, 0, 0, 0, 1, a 3 cross 4 matrix is reduced to 
row reduced echelon form matrix that is 1 0 minus 1 0 0 1 2 0 0 0 0 1 satisfying all the conditions now for rank of a matrix we define the rank of a matrix as number of non zero rows in the matrix echelon form or row reduced echelon form right if there are by chance any rows with zeros all zeros that is 1 2 5 9 and 0 0 1 2 and 0 0 0 0 then if there is such a matrix evolved because of row uh, reductions uh, row reduced echelon form or row uh, echelon form uh, while doing those operations if we obtain such an matrix where one of the rows is 0 then the rank of matrix is 1 less than number of rows or number of rows minus the number of rows with all zeros right there is a significance to find out rank of the matrix which we will be going through in the next videos however let us take an example and try to uh, reduce a given matrix to a uh, row echelon form and row reduced echelon form and hence try to find out the rank of the matrix. Consider matrix A equal to 1, 3, 3, 2, 2, 6, 9, 7, minus 1, minus 3, 3, 4. Now, uh, if we have to reduce it to row echelon form, right? So we need to do some operations such that the entry below the leading entry or the elements below the leading entry of the first row should become zeros. Now, if I go ahead with op row operations, R2 is equal to R2 minus 2R1 r2 dash r3 dash is equal to r3 plus r1 then the matrix which i obtain will be so r2 dash so let me keep row 1 as it is that is another condition for matrix operations that is one of the rows of the matrix should be left unaltered in the subsequent steps otherwise the matrix is going to change its uh, original characteristics so you need to retain one row as it is this is a fundamental of matrix row operations and now r2 dash that is a uh, changed row is r2 minus 2 r1 so the first element 2 minus 2 times of 1 that is 0 here and 6 minus 2 times of 6 2 times of 3 is 6 minus 6 0 and 9 minus 2 times of 3 is 6 9 minus 6 is 3 and 7 minus 2 times of 2 is 4, 7 minus 4 is 3 and here R3 dash is equal to R3 plus R1. So R3 plus R1 gives 0, minus 1 plus 1, minus 3 plus 3 is 0 again and 3 plus 3 is 6 and 4 plus 2 is 6. So and if I go ahead with one more operation that is r3 dash is equal to r3 minus 2 r2 then i will be getting 1 3 3 2 the first row unaltered 0 0 3 3 r3 minus 2 r2 that is 6 mm, minus 2 times 3 that is 6 minus 6 0 6 minus 6 0 so we have mm, the leading entries in the rows being non zero right and below that leading entry pivot entry there is column of zeros so first row satisfies the condition second row leading entry is 3 and below that there is 0 and this is in a Cleon form, right? And if I have to get 
rho reduced echelon form rho reduced echelon form so the entries above the pivot element should be zero that is the pivot element should be the only non zero element in the column so here to obtain that if i go with r1 dash is equal to r1 minus r2 that should do the job so what will i be getting is 1 minus 0 1 3 minus 0 3 3 minus 3 0 2 minus 3 minus 1 0 0 3 3 0 0 0 0 so now it is the matrix is in row reduced echelon form and since we have one row as zero row the rank of the matrix is number of non zero rows that is two here so rank of the matrix is two hope the concept of echelon form row reduced echelon form and rank of the matrix is clear to the viewers in case of any doubts feel free to write on the comments and i should be able to uh, try to resolve your uh, comments in the subsequent videos or uh, over the comments thank you for your attention happy viewing and happy learning